Protestants, modern Protestants, evangelicals you call them, they've got a problem amongst themselves because some of them are accepting a liberalisation of doctrine which other ones won't accept. He says, you not rest on Victor? the Sabbath and I rest on the Sabbath. Why you he not says, six Victor? days you shall work. I, re I work for six days and I rest you on the Sabbath. Finland. You don't you rest on the Sabbath, so shut up. You've just shown your God is false God. Your God can't. Your God can't eat, therefore your God is not all powerful. Therefore your God is not God. Your God is a God, which is no doubt why in your book, Allah prays. Two adults are talking. No adults are talking. I'm talking to another man. I don't need to listen to you. I'm talking to this guy. Listen, I'm talking to a man. He's a man. I'm almost 50. I'm saying almost 52 men are talking. So I don't need to hear you. Someone's already given me a hard recommendation. You're giving me a, a 7 out of 10 recommendation. You should, you should uh, be interested in Augustine, probably because he was a manichae. He was a disbeliever in Catholicism, and then he converted to Catholicism. He not only managed a, a huge diocese in North Africa, but he actually produced his vast output of work. He was like, not just a workaholic, but a man of extremely high intellect. Uh, when you read The City of God, which is a huge work. See what happens when you ask a reasonable then, question. Then Protestants lost their excitement at the prospect of destroying Catholicism. They were then faced with looking inwards. If you, for example, are a Protestant who want to be rational, you've rejected Catholic miracles, you've rejected indulgences, but the question then comes, what is the authority? Well, the, the first Protestant said the Bible is the authority. But actually, once you start questioning, why should you stop? Why should you not question the Bible itself? We know, it's well known that Luther had real difficulties, in many ways he's intellectually honest. He had to decide what books belonged in the Bible. Well, of course, he removed, he took what he regards as the Hebrew Bible, which he considered, considered the 39 books in the Old Testament. Fine, that was his solution to that bit. But what about the solution to the New Testament? Well, he had this idea of a canon within the canon. The canon, the fundamental thing about um, Christianity is salvation by faith. Any book of the Bible, it doesn't really assert that. You should chuck out. So we, we know we wanted to chuck out the letter of St. James because despite what Protestants say today, Luther was more honest. Luther said the letter of St. James teaches contrary to salvation by faith and therefore it must go. The book of Revelation, according to Luther, wasn't teaching salvation by faith. Therefore, oh, is that from my thing? Yeah. All right, I'll just say this. The book of Revelation doesn't teach salvation by faith, so that must go. But of course, the Lutheran Bible contains those books. Why? Because more, less scrupulous, wiser heads than Luther persuaded him to not remove those documents. But he was honest. Protestants around him and after him have not been. So they accept the 27 book New Testament. Why then? They accept it because it's the book, it's the New Testament of the Catholic Church. 27 is an odd number. There's no reason why it should be 27. There's no magic to that number. And there's no particular reason why you should have the particular documents in it that are in it. Unless you trust the Catholic Church to have chosen with a supernatural understanding of what books are inspired. That's what we say the Catholic Church did. If the Protestants want to deny it, they've got to go down the road Luther went part way down. They've got to go all the way down and start questioning why particular books should belong in the Bible? Why any of these books? And they have to go back to his Old Testament and say, why should we trust a bunch of crusty old Jews from thousands of years ago to tell us what books belong in the Old Testament? And what happens when you get to that point is you take the next step and say, there's no basis for having a Bible at all. And you get then these great minds of Protestantism in the 19th century they began to pick apart the books of the Bible as being purely man-made documents. Thus, Protestantism intellectually collapsed. And we get the denial in Protestantism of the resurrection of Christ, 
that Christ is God, that there's a hell, certainly you deny that. Any God that exists would be nice and fluffy. And of course you end up denying heaven as anything other than just a projection of what you want. So did you say and that, Christ is God? I was talking about other matters. Just as it, that was illustrative of the general point I was making, so hold fire. So then, so having got to um, the point where the Protestants have, have realised their religion logically leads them to deny every tenet of the, the 16th century reformers, the religion ceases to be until you get to the 19th century, the late 19th century when fundamentalism asserts itself. And that's the religion of all these born again Christians today that we find, it, find in the park. It's basically, they get what they call the fundamentals. Virgin birth, Christ is God, and all this other stuff. Bodily resurrection of Christ. I didn't say it was. I'm, not po I'm pointing to you because you just mentioned the, t the theme. The theme. It doesn't have answer. Now, that creates fundamentalism. But the question is, how can we know fundamentalism is true? We get back to the same problem. Why do the late 19th century American fundamentalists say that there are certain fundamentals which you must agree with. In fact, today, Protestants, modern Protestants, evangelicals you call them, they've got a problem amongst themselves because some of them are accepting a liberalisation of doctrine which other ones won't accept. Protestantism, in short, is inherently unstable. That's why the only refuge for a person who really wants to call themselves a, Christ a Christian is either Catholicism or Eastern Orthodoxy. I have reasons for, for going against Eastern Orthodoxy, but because I've spoken enough and there were some comments from the audience or points raised, I'll stop there and let any question be put. Anybody got a question? Yeah, I have a question. Yes, yeah, Well, I suppose he was first. Yeah, he said something. Was first. Sorry. What's Catherine, uh, sorry, uh, what's that about? Is that, who is that woman there? Okay, okay. Um, you asked who is this woman here? Who is, this guy? Who is this guy there? All right, okay. This is a, a painting of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is a carving of Christ on the cross. Okay. So is that his mouth? Yes. So are they gods together? No, because the Blessed Virgin Mary is purely human. Okay. Well, we teach is that in eternity, there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Where there's timelessness, before time is created, there's eternity, where God dwells. So it's not a passage of minutes in, in, in eternity. From there, God the Son descends into our human existence and it enters the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And then he's, and then, and then overnight, takes a human nature to himself because God is pure spirit so when he descends into the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary it's not like a body enters the womb of the Virgin Mary as in you know alien or something like that well, why, but and why then he grows he and that? that's he Jesus why would he decide to go well, into a womb of a woman why would he want to do that human experience. Well, no, can I just ask him a question what well, for a human experience you think God needs to have a human you think he can't have a human experience that he has to come as a human to have it what kind of God are you guys serving God, the creator of this world, uh, for you guys to think that he has to enter a womb of a woman who said to I, feel. Who said I said he had to? No, that's see? what he just said. Oh, okay. okay. If you have mentioned you him, he then, you know. You asked why, and I said, no, but where did he say? Him? Okay, let me ask you. Okay, okay let's Who do we follow? Who do we obey? Whose Jesus voice? Christ. If God speaks, say for instance, he says, A, and somebody else says B, yeah. who do we listen to? All right. If he says, do A, mm. and somebody else says, do B, mm. who do we listen to? We listen to God if we want to listen to no, God. No, not say if. So say, for instance, yeah. what is the name? You know the exodus of Israel? You know, sorry, exodus of Egypt? Yeah. Remember, you know when Moses went to Pharaoh? Yeah. What's the name of the God that Moses gave Pharaoh that sent him? Because that's who we want to serve. So if Moses, Moshe said, Jesus sent me, then we follow Jesus. If he says, 
Allah sent me, we follow Allah. But Moses gave a name to Pharaoh. What's that name? That and is, you know where it is? It's in the book of Exodus chapter 5. No, chapter 3. Yeah, Exodus chapter 5. He tells no, you... No, chapter 3. Okay. Exodus chapter 5. This is when he went to... What the, verse? Start from verse 1. Is he that tells, the verse where he says it? No, so you see, start from verse 1. When Moses, he said Moshe, went to Pharaoh. And he said, blah, 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 sent Oh, him. okay. I thought you said where he says who God his name is. Yes, what's the name of the God that sent him? The Elohim that sent Moshe to... What's the name? What's okay. the name? Okay. God says, when Moses asks him who, who he is... No, 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 say, no, no. What's the name yeah. that he gave Pharaoh? Uh, listen, am I talking? Listen. Shut the up, man. Come two on, adults are talking. Is, no yeah, adults are talking. I'm talking to another man. I don't need to listen to you. Shut the up. Shut the Hey, I'm talking to this guy. Listen, I'm talking to a man. He's a man. I'm almost 50. I'm talking to almost, almost 52 men are talking. So I don't need to hear you. So they shut up and you should have some respect. Respect is They shut up and let me talk to the man. Speakers so what's the name? What's the name, my friend? All right. Speakers my two men are no, talking. You should shut up. No, no, no. One man's talking. I'm asking a question. Then I'm asking a question. Not what? If you can't control yourself, get you you control you listen, you're talking listen, like an animal. Answer the question. What's the name of the God that sent Moses Jesus to Pharaoh? Christ. Is that what he yeah. said? Let's see what he said. Let's see what. He'll show you. He'll okay, show you. Tell me where. Story. You answer the question. Because right. he's he got. He wants to tell us. He's already got it wrong. Let's see what he says. Do you know what? Go to the book of. Do you know Lord what? Do you know what? All you do is anybody because people say stuff all the time in crowds. You just have to totally ignore anybody who said anything else. Okay, answer the question then. That's the technique, right? Answer the question then. Moses actually asks, who shall I say sending me to Pharaoh? And that's he not, says... No, no, that's not where I'm talking about, mate. I'm talking about what's the name of the yeah. God of Moses that he told Pharaoh that sent him It's Exodus chapter 5. I'm not talking about, about the name I am, what I am. That's a different verse. The verse, okay. if you know, if you believe in the God that came of Israel, you should know this question. This answer is a very simple question. So the name of God is I am who I am. <laughs> Shirley Bassey, you're thinking of Shirley that Bassey. That was in Exodus 3. No, you're thinking of I am what I am. Right. It was in Exodus and that's from 3. I'm talking Azure about Fall. Exodus 5, not Exodus 3. The question is, what is the name that Moshe gave to Pharaoh that the God that sent him is a simple question. Yeah, go on. What's the name? What name did he give him? Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I am who I am. So he said to him, I am. Okay, let, okay let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 5. Let me read. It says here, yeah, and afterwards, Moshe and Aaron came unto Pharaoh. Thus said the Elohim of Israel, Let my people go that they may make a feast unto me. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that they shall hearken unto his voice? I am the Lord, and there's none else. His name is the Lord, the Elohim of Israel. He's not Jesus. You guys are. You're His good. name is the Lord. Are you gonna, are you gonna speak like a kid? Are you going? Are you going? Are you going? Are you going? Bye. Because, right, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be here arguing with children. You yeah, understand? Yeah. I want to talk okay, facts. Then, we don't want to We don't want to argue. Who's we? Who is we? Uh, Humankind. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Yeah. Okay. You have to, as I say, you have to, you have to block out those you don't want to hear. You even know what verse it will never end up getting because it always happens. No, it's in verse five. I just read it. It's in verse. And it's already said in verse three. No. No, he said, he said, I am who but I am. Know that. On that verse, that's not what he said on that verse. That verse said, the Lord. He said, then Pharaoh said, who is the Lord that I might obey his voice? I know not the Lord. That's what he says in there. I know the Torah and you don't. You, you don't know Jesus. what I know. I just know you, you don't, don't know, know the Elohim of Israel. You don't know him if yes, you knew him. And you're damned because you I'm don't know Jesus. John says in the book of John, it says you oh, you need to honor the Father. Right. You need to honor me like you honor the Father. Jesus' words. I have a question for you. In a moment, in a moment. The, the Lord, you see, Jesus is called Lord in the New Testament. You've got to go beyond the word Lord, Kyrios. It's, it's, it's too generic. So you, you need to get to, when, when in uh, Exodus 3, which is why I emphasise that, 
But the I actual wasn't name talking is, about Exodus No, too. I know, but Curious doesn't do it. No, Curious I doesn't ask specific you specific a enough. specific question. You knew it was a specific question. Yes, but it doesn't help you get to the name of the Lord to distinguish no, him from No, I know the Jesus. name of the Lord. You don't. He never said he was called Jesus. Yeah, he never said Jesus that. is on, a man. Hold on. Hold on. Jesus was born to... Come on. Down a minute. Huh? No, you don't lie, man. You don't don't come on. Man. Man. He never became a man. The Elohim of Israel is not a man for he is not a man. was God. First Samuel chapter 22, he said, I am not a man that he lies. He's not the son of man. So stop that thing. Forget about the Elohim of Israel that he's a man because he's not a man. No, he not the son of man. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 20. He became a man. He said in the book of Deuteronomy, do not add to this verse and do not take away. We don't add to what he says in the Torah. We believe what he says in the Torah. He says, rest on the Sabbath and I rest on the Sabbath. He says, six days you shall work. I, re I work for six days and I rest you on the Sabbath. Philip? You don't you rest on the Sabbath, so shut up. You, wear to you deny the New Testament. You wear to Philip. Listen, now, it's I'm not about you. whether I deny. No, I'm just asking no, you. No, it's not about denying. Listen, oh, do, you, do, you, do you believe they're inspired no. texts? Because, listen. He says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter two. I know you. I know no, you very you much. Into, uh, no, because I'm very. Not, I'm, I'm very. Give you facts. I know you're interested and in believe in the yeah, Old Testament. No, no, it's not I the Old Testament. It's called the Torah. It's call not the Old Testament. It, whatever name you want Christians to give it. Christians call it the Old Testament because they claim. Yeah, and you know what Somebody I am? else came and said, yeah, and when Elohim Kim speaks, he's old. When he speaks, he's forever. He's what am I? Old. You say Christians call it the Old Testament. What do you think you're talking to now? But I'm trying so to don't show be you surprised. the if you're on your way. Now then, Let's see what I appreciate he says. that. Let's see tell what me. he said. Do you tell me what you think of the New Testament. I'm going to tell you what I think of it right now. All right. Because I don't want to use my words. I want to see what he says. I'd like okay. to hear your words. No, because I can say, I want to believe, I want to do what he says. It's not about what I believe, is it? I just want to... If yeah, we go, it, okay, let me tell you what he says. He does of the New Testament in there, Let me tell you what I believe in, yeah? He said, hear O Israel, hearken unto the statutes and the ordinance which I teach you that you do them, that you may live. You shall not add unto this word that I command thee. You shall not take away from it. So I don't add any books. Now tell I me, obey the does that mean you don't believe in the New Testament? It's not about belief. I obey what he says to me. Can you he says to me, no? Can you just... it's for Israel. It's not for the nations. Can you you guys language? of the nations, you've got a book that belongs to Israel. The point is, yeah, you guys do not believe in the Yamaha. Please, I don't want to be on video. I don't want to be Oh, just stand there then. You should be off it. Well, then you best, you best stop then. You best, we best stop then. I, yeah, I yeah I, okay, all right. Anyway, the point was, I was just asking you plainly. If I were to read from the New Testament, would you say that it's pointless? Because I don't want to waste my time on the New Testament if you don't believe in the New Testament. That's why I was getting to that. Because he told us, do not add to the Torah and do not take away from it. So we don't add to it. No worries. That's all I was trying so to get at. So the question is, who do we believe? Who do we serve? Hold on. Do we obey Matthew or do we believe the Elohim yeah. of Israel? No, fair enough. I understand. He said in the book of the Can you stop a minute? Okay. Because, because, because I, I want to say what he says. I don't want to go about what I that's believe. That's grand. No, that's great. Okay. But you see, if you don't believe in the New Testament, there's no way of knowing whether Jesus existed. Listen, you guys of the nations, care about Jesus. All right. Because let me tell you what the Christians did. Dude, let, dude, me dude, dude, let me prove to you. Let me tell you what the Christians say that again. Hang on, hang on. Let me, no tell you, no let me tell you what the, okay, let, okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what the Christians did. No, the don't Christians, don't, don't, hang on. Look I at know. Jesus. Let me tell you something about Jesus. But let me tell you what the Christians did. Let me tell you what the Christians did. In a minute. I'm just, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I wanted to stop you for a moment. Why don't you want to hear the truth? I do. I do. Then let me tell you the truth. All in good order. Because you see, I am actually curious about your position, not just I you telling me stuff. That's it. All right. Now that means then, when we talk about the Torah, we have to know how we can know that 
There is such a thing as a Torah that you should believe in. Who is how we? Who is we? How any human being? No, listen, no. The Torah, yeah? Oh, you then? No, listen. Uh, let me tell you what it is. Yeah? You see the Torah, yeah? Yeah. Just like today, yeah. the nations don't want to obey the, the laws in the Torah. Why should they? Exactly. Yeah. It's made for the children of Israel because we believe in How do you know that? It. How do you know that? Because today I believe in the, in the laws in the Torah. How that you, is why. How because do, how your do you know you should? Because fathers in the nations did not believe in the God of Israel. Why should That's they? That's why Israel has that law. Yeah. We are Israel. How do you know Israel has that law? Because how do you know you're Israel? Because, listen, you know, I'm let me answer your question. I'm listening. Let yes, go, question. go, go on. It's go on. like a Chinese man, yeah? Yeah. Coming to the UK, yeah? Yeah. Telling the UK yeah. about the UK constitution. Yeah. What is the English going to say to the Chinese man? This is the UK constitution. The Chinese man can come yeah. and give his opinion. Yeah. Do you, if a Chinese man want to tell, if I go to China yeah. and I want to tell the Chinese man yeah. how, how they should live, yeah. they're going to look at me and tell me to off. I'm not Chinese. Okay. Same as the laws yeah. in the Torah. It's yeah. for Israel alone. Yeah, but these, you guys of the nations, yeah. the Christians, the Muslims, and I'm about to prove to you okay. that you're wrong. What if? You take up a book that belongs listen, to Israel just no, like today. But tell you me. don't want to follow the God of Israel. I want to know basic thing. In the God of Israel. I want to know something we basic. Do. It's our book. Not hold yours. on, hold so on. You've got the book of the nations and you're trying to make sense of Slow it. Slow down. It's not believe. Slow listen. down. Listen, the book itself. Let me prove to you. Before you tell me anything about yeah. the book, yeah. I want to know how you know that that, okay. collect, that thing called the Torah. The fact is that, that I believe I in it. I haven't finished the sentence. I believe in it. I haven't finished the sentence. Okay, go ahead. I'll prove to you. I wanted to know why I should believe. You don't this. have to. Shut up. <laughs> you don't have to believe it. No, you will that wasn't the question. You don't know what he's going to say. You don't know what he's going to say. That wasn't this is the, the question. You have to obey my the law. You don't know what he's going to say. You've got to wait for me to finish my sentence. Those laws are forever. You've got to wait for me to finish my sentence. You obey or you're fucked. Yes, you've got to. You've got to let me finish my sentence. Yeah, but I'm telling you, the laws in the Torah is forever. You obey or not, you have no choice. All of you will be destroyed, whether you like it okay, or not. Okay, okay. Thou shalt not kill. Okay, hold on. Thou not steal. Hold on. I've not Thou finished my sentence. Those are holy can laws I, can I for the nations. My sentence. And all of you guys, you look at those laws and you tell God every day, yes. I don't care what you say. Will you hold on? You guys on. are going to burn. You don't believe in the other king of Israel. Can I ask my question? Yeah, go ahead. Are you sure now? Right, You're going to let ahead. me get the end of my sentence. Go ahead. All right. It goes like this. How do you know that that set of books called the Torah is not just a bunch of fake books written by some guys two and a half thousand years ago who pretended to be Moses or the prophets and they just made up fairy stories? How do you know? Uh, do you believe in evidence? Do yeah. you believe in evidence? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe Moses existed? Um, Are you honest? As a Catholic, yes, but otherwise no, no, I wouldn't no. know. Do you believe he existed? Without Catholicism. No yes, idea. No, I wouldn't believe it. If I was not Catholic, I wouldn't believe it. Oh, did the children of Israel exist? Were there people called the children of Israel? I would have, without being Catholic, I would, have, uh, I would believe. No, in history! Yeah, no, Listen, if you yeah, go to the British yeah. Museum, it's there. Really? You look on the wall, the children of Israel yeah. is on the wall. How walls. far back? They're not white. How far back? Either. Hold on, hold They're on. They're not white. Oscar. You go there hold in on. the Exodus of yeah. Egypt. You ask me. In the British Museum. You ask me for evidence. The, the, the what, is the, what is the evidence? Dark skin. What? What is the evidence in the British Museum? The evidence that shows there, you the see the Egyptians. Existing? Thousands no, of no, years. No, no, the Israelites. The Israel the Israelites. Now, I'm just about to tell you. I was there two weeks ago, right? Yeah, what did and you see? And also, beautifully, there's a program on you. It's called the, oh, it's called the Exodus Decoded. In there, there's uh, a stellar stone that they found in 1947. You know what it says? It talks about when darkness came over Egypt. This is independent of the Torah. Okay. So, you, so do you have any? You, I'm asking for and evidence. Also for me, and for me also, yeah. I used to think I was Nigerian. And I'll tell you what happened. Yeah. When I went to a map, all of you guys can Google it. Yeah. Before the slave trade, you know what it says? He had the kingdom of Judah. I'll show it to you right now. Can I ask you, are you a Hebrew Israelite? No, I'm not a Hebrew Israelite. Oh. I'm a Hebrew. I'm a Hebrew. Judah. Judah. Okay. We're Judah. Not Hebrew Israelite. Okay. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. Would you say that, because you know, people have different terms. Some say they're... they're the, oh, I know. I you, believe you, in the Torah alone. The, I'm I, Elijah. I, I, Elijah. I, I, Go I, I'm written about in the book of Malachi, okay. chapter 4. Okay. You read and you'll hear about right. me in there. Now then. No, thank you. Now, this guy was waiting to ask me a question. Can he do well, that? Let me prove to you Christianity yeah. is wrong. 
Let me tell you what. Well, I just want you to give this man. Let me prove that to you. Let me ask that. It's going to be the last thing. Let him have his question. Do you want it? Are you going to wait? Let me prove to you. Do you want to ask or not? Listen, 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 listen. No. Listen, listen. Let me prove to you. Listen. All right, all right. Listen, yeah, listen, yeah. I'm not here. No, you can't do it to me. I'm going to prove it to you. Because my friend, the only way, the only way to serve him is obeying those commandments. It's not about belief in Jesus. No, you're not proving to me the Torah. You're not proving the Torah to me yet. No, you have to obey the commandments. You have not proven it. When he tells you to rest. You have not proven me any commandments. He created this world in six days. You've not proven this is not a fairy story. You're meant to rest. You've not proven this is not a fairy story. You're meant to rest on the Sabbath. Who says? Our Elohim of Israel. Where does he say that? He says it in the book of Deuteronomy, my friend. It's fake, mate. It's fake. Exactly. It's fake. Because it's not for your nation. You so don't tell me then. So don't tell you me about it. So don't tell me. Man. You look at the laws okay. of our Elohim and you so throw then. it away. So you then, on that day, don't tell me. If it's not for me. Those laws are forever. If it's so, but that's right. not for me. That Chap, that's good to establish. That's not for me. That's not for me. Christianity is wrong. No point. I'm going to prove to you Christianity is wrong. I appreciate it, but there's no point. Do you want me to prove it to you? No. You don't want me to prove it? No. So you want to die? Yes. Oh. I you tried. To you. you tried. Let me prove to you Jesus no. is wrong. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. want to prove because you no know need. why? Uh, because you guys before. are sick. Yeah, you guys see those laws and you throw it back in his face okay. and you want to claim that you love him. You are <laughs> my friend. You are Thank You want to worship this uh, human being. Thank you. you guys are Thank yes. you. Yes. Right. Thank you very much. Much obliged. Have a nice yeah. day. Yeah. Lovely Thank talking to you. Now, you, sir. Let me stop. Let me. Oh, all right, whichever. Okay. Right. Dude, dude, I can't really hear no, very well. No, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, go for it. Yes, no. That's better. No, no, that's it. <laughs> now, are you going to be as reasonable as this man? No, no, that's, just, there's I'm, a high standard I'm, here now. No, no, no. I'm not very good. I'm just wondering. You got eating food, right? I eat food. Oh, my God. You got Jesus. When he, when, he when he took a human nature to himself. Yes, but having a human so nature, he tamed himself. Then he took food. How God eat food like us? So you're saying you're, you're hold on Jesus me. God okay, okay. Is eating food like right. right. So you're saying you're saying your God is not all powerful. I'm just asking you how you. That's all right. I know. Like no, I heard the question. Okay, since since Jesus I heard the God, question. Since Jesus is God, why do you consider Adam a God like Jesus? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So let's see. Your God. Is well, not all powerful. Now don't talk to him. Don't, talk to him. don't distract him. He's, he's a dis don't let him distract you. So then. He's going to go by himself to heaven and we're going to go to the heaven. Hell. So. So I'm just you don't. Your God, whoever your God is, Allah, I think. You don't. Your God is not all powerful. The prophet Muhammad ate. Yeah, yeah, you heretic. Don't no, you I dare. Don't know. No, no, the prophet is God. Focus on here. Your God. There's something your God can't do, right? Your God can't do something, right? So your God is not all powerful. Therefore, your God is not God. Therefore, your religion is false. Out of your own mouth. Yeah. You've Do shown you your God you is false. The Bible the, the That's a separate question now. We're dealing with your first question. We're dealing with your first question. You've just shown your God is false God. Your God can't eat, therefore your God is not all powerful. Therefore your God is not God. Your God is a God. Which is no doubt why in your book Allah prays. Simple question. Why does Allah pray? Because he can't eat. He prays for the ability to eat, I suspect. He's not all powerful. He's not all powerful. Your God is not all powerful. Allah can't eat. He's not all powerful. What else can't Allah do? Loads of things. There's a whole list, a shopping list of things no you can't do. It's, it's and you know it. And no and miracles. It's beyond our knowledge. I tell you what, hey, here's something. I'm more powerful than Allah. I, I, pay attention, pay attention, pay no attention to him. Look at me. 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 
Look at me. I listen. Not only, not only, not only. Listen. Answer this to me, Captain. Listen to me. Listen to me. Not only is your God not God, but I am more powerful than your God. Because I can eat food and your God cannot. A lot of crazy people saying like I can eat food and your God cannot. I know. I have a homeless, he said I'm God. I know, I know, I know. They don't know their own book. They ask him loads and loads of You see? Okay, okay. Why do you consider Adam is the son of God like Jesus? Can you have answer for that? Why you don't consider Adam is a son of God like a Jesus? Because he's not God. <laughs> because they they create they believe Jesus is a son of God. They don't believe God. He can do whatever he wants. They they do not by the way. We don't believe that God can do what we. I've just told you our God is all powerful. You don't know what you say. He asked a reasonable question. No, 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 I think I can answer it. <laughs> Adam is a son of God because everyone is yeah. perfect. Yeah. Jesus is God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, absolutely. That's what we believe. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that, okay wait, wait, wait. In the conversation, I know how you think. Ah, you're running away. You're running away. If you didn't think you were losing or you were going to get hammered, you'd stay because you would want to show Islam to be this great religion and falsify us. Wait here. I'll answer you now. I'll answer you now. I'll answer you now. I'll answer you now. Stop running. I'll answer you now. Jesus is the Son of God. Have you read it though? Have you read it? I'm what did bye you bye. Fasting? I'm fasting. Bye bye. You're fasting. Why are you fasting? You're fasting in the pagan month of Ramadan. You are fasting on the pagan month of Ramadan. Why do you fast a pagan fast? Why do you fast a pagan fast in the pagan month of Ramadan? Why do you follow a pagan month? A pagan fast. I've got a really quick question. Good. And if it's offensive as a Catholic, if it's offensive to us as a Catholic, it's because I apologise in advance, right? Uh, as an aid to prayer. Yeah, it's as disgraceful. A, as an aid to prayer. That reasonable man, just like he's a scholar. And, and you'll be able to deal with this in about 15 seconds, I expect. As an aid to prayer and meditation, somebody recommended the Confessions of St. Augustine. Right. Right. Then please, please, Americans say Augustine. Yeah, I know. St. Augustine. We Augustine. Augustine. No, no, we don't, because St. Augustine is a town in Florida. He's St. Augustine, is my understanding. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. We should say that. It's arriving Augustine. By a, it's no, Augustine. A, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm just a little right, picker. I'll take you that. Know. <laughs> it's arriving via eBay Tuesday. Right. I say it was recommended to me as an item of spiritual growth to aid meditation and prayer. Uh -huh. Have you read it? Do you like it? What can I expect? If okay. it's offensive because... Again, okay. might not be a saint, saint in the Catholic sense. Mm. I want a mini book review. Some say that it's the first modern autobiography. Right. Well, the first real autobiography. Um, it starts off where he's talking about um, his life and how he came to conversion. And he goes on discusses philosophical matters. Now, it's over 20 years since I read it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. So the, so the great I'm detail of it, I can't I'm asking you because you, you know your onions. And but I would say it. it's good to read. Um, but his corpus is vast. Right. You know, if you want to, if you want to know his doctrine, his doctrines on various on various matters, then you know you'd be there till the end of your life. But the confessions is a good place to start. In fact, I, I uh, did get um, given be, me by an ex-girlfriend a, a mini confessions of Saint Augustine, where they took like the essential autobiographical stuff, where he's not engaging in theological um, musings. But yeah, it's worth but all it. in all you did. And, and, it, and it, yeah. I don't know quite how to phrase this. Do you regard, I nearly said, do you regard him as kosher? That's not what I mean. Do you regard him as. He's a doctor of the Catholic Church, which he's means. All, he's all right he is, in your book. He is, the Catholic Church officially treats Augustine as one of the greatest minds in the Catholic Church. And do you? I have no choice. All right, okay, good. So you're giving me a, a mini recommendation. If someone's already given me a hard recommendation, you're giving me a. A seven out of ten recommendation. You should you should uh, be interested in Augustine, probably because he was a manichae, he was a disbeliever in Catholicism, and then he converted to Catholicism. 
right. His mother was a Catholic already. All right. And she prayed for him and everything, St. Monica. She became a Catholic. Uh, he became a bishop. He not only managed a, a huge diocese in North Africa, but he actually produced this vast output of work. He was like, not just a workaholic, but a man of extremely high intellect. Uh, when you read The City of God, which is a huge work. See what happens when you ask a reasonable then, question, then by you, the way. You get a, if we could have a row now, you'd get a massive row. Sorry, the City of God is a, um, it's like, a, you know how Marx's um, capital yeah. is an attempt to, to give us a sweep of historic, the historical development of, of capitalism. Well, it is anyway. It's Marx's yep, statements sure. like that. Saint Augustine's City of God is a similarly thick book, and it tempts, it's an attempt to justify to pagan Romans that that, that God that what's it what's it a phrase up of that uh, history is the march of God through time. Okay. And it like shows how Rome, far, far from being weakened by converting to Christianity, had its life extended. Right. because of the conversion to Christianity. Okay. And he goes through a whole load of stuff. Again, it's, it's decades since I've read The City yeah, of God. Yeah, sure, sure. But I would, rec I would recommend it. Okay, and I would recommend it a good question. I can never remember, what's your first name again? Phil. Phil just answered a reasonable question in a reasonable way. <laughs> we often do. No, we, never we often argue. do. This is bloody lunatic. It's, it's true, it's true. Did you witness that? We had a reasonable question. Did, did we have a crossword? Did one of us raise our voice other than the traffic? Did one of us raise our voice? No, that's it's how it's nice done. That's yes. how it's done. Right. That, that, is, that is classic speaker's corner. No, it's in not. The days of <laughs> no, in the days of decorum and propriety. Yeah, but I prefer that because I would turn to the engagement, not the chatting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, well that's arriving tomorrow morning. Next time I'm here, I will tell you what I think. That's a nice, nice. Yeah, I'll see you again. Thank you. Have a lovely afternoon. Good. Right. Well, I was just talking to a very animated Israelite, as he calls himself. Others might say Hebrew Israelite. I've heard others call them Black Hebrew Israelites. I don't know whether they're all the same faction, but it seems to be a similar kind of um, worldview, where there's a complete focus on the Old Testament, as, as we call it, and an interpretation of it which is quite out of the ordinary, out of the mainstream. This gentleman was very animated, and so it was very difficult to get to the, to the heart of issues such as why an Israelite or a Hebrew Israelite would even consider the Old Testament to be valid. What is the historical basis for that? Because without, I would say, the Holy Catholic Church, one cannot assert that documents referred to as the Old Testament or the Torah are valid, because we're not Jews. Even Jews, uh, present day, um, Talmudic Jews or Rabbinic Jews, one might say, um, can only assert that the Torah is valid if they refer to their oral law, which takes them back to that. So that's the, the Hebrew Israelite problem, but you can't get it anywhere when you've got somebody who's too animated and too emotional. That's, the, that's Hyde Park, and we don't mind that. The next, the last one was a, was a Muslim chap. He wasn't really willing to go into things very far. And so one couldn't get very far with that. So all I was left with was saying, well, you know, if God can't eat, then God's not all powerful. And that, therefore, God is not God. And if the, anyone believes in the God who can't eat, and that gentleman believes in Allah, then we must only conclude that Allah is not all powerful, and therefore Allah is not God. But that was really as far as I could get with him before it became a little bit incoherent. So that's the conclusion of, of today thus far. Okay, and God bless you too.